Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video we're gonna talk about Proxmox helper scripts. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what are helper scripts? So if you go to this website here, so actually you will find all the links on my description here. So what are helper scripts? So if you see here, there are actually plus 150 scripts to help you manage your Proxmox VE environment. So whether you are a seasoned user or newcomer, Proxmox VE helper scripts has got you covered. Okay. So in short, helper scripts are actually scripts that helps you to automate tasks on your Proxmox V environment, okay? So let's take a look at some of them and how you can use them, okay? So we just click on this button here, view scripts. And as you can see on this website, the scripts are organized into categories. So on the left pane, you see different categories. So you have, for example, here, uh, Proxmox VE tools, ad blocker, DNS, automation, dashboard, databases, and so on. Okay. So you can choose the script according to your needs. Okay. So for example, let's begin with a simple script that help you, for example, to backup your whole Proxmox VE environment. So I will hit this uh, first category here, Proxmox VE tools. And here you can see that they have a lot of actually scripts. And one of them is the Proxmox VE host backup. Okay. So if I click on it, I can see a description of this script. So as you read here, this script serves as a versatile backup utility, enabling user to specify both the backup path and the directory they want to work in. Okay. And we can just actually copy this uh, command line and paste it in our shell on our Proxmox in order to execute this script. So uh, let's do that. But before that, it's always good to, to take a look at the script. So here, as you can see, we have the path to the script itself. So it's located actually on the directory misc on this GitHub actually directory so we can go to the github directory and as i told you the script resides on the misc directory so i click on it and if i go and search for the host backup this is our script that we're gonna execute so it's always good to look at it so that helps you to get skills if you want to learn how to make script and also you can if you know how to script you can uh, remove just the lines that you don't want to use in your script but as i told you it's a good way to see how actually professionals make scripts okay especially here for uh, automating proxmox okay so now we can return back to our site we just copy this line here so and then we go to our Proxmox in order to execute the script. And in order to execute it, all we have to do is to click on our node here, which is Proxmox 01, and we go to the shell. Okay. And then you, all you have to do is just to paste the line that we have just copied. So here we go. This is the line that has been pasted. So let's uh, just run enter and we get this uh, Proxmox VE helper script. So this will create backup for particular files and directories located within a desi designated directory. So let's proceed. So I just help yes. So it's telling me where to uh, actually backup this. So our the default is slash root slash. So I will just keep that slash root slash so you don't forget the slash at the end so i will hit ok 
then the default to directory to work in it's slash etc bon. let's also use it slash etc slash we go ok and here is it giving us the selection of the file or directory that we want to backup so you can backup the directories depending on your needs okay so for me i will just uh, for example choose the pve or lxc directory but normally it's slash etc slash pve directory which is more interesting and i will hit ok then we have this message here this will create a backup in slash root for these files or directories so that i have chosen which is slash etc slash pve so all i have to do is to press enter and here we go a backup is rendered so this will create backup for a particular file and directories located within the designated directory let's proceed so actually here the process will begin once again so we can just cancel it but if you want to back up something else you can just do what we have done okay so let's just say no so let's now check the backup if indeed has been created so let's list the content of uh, slash root and see what we get and here we go as you can see here we have a file called proxmox etc backup and here there's the date so actually it's compressed file that has been created for actually the backup of our proxmox ve environment so you can see how actually those scripts are very useful to automate tasks so let's return back to our site and let's say that we want just to install an LXC container. So as you may know, an LXC container is just a lightweight version of a virtual machine. But the main difference between actually a virtual machine and the LXC container is that the LXC container will use the kernel of the host, okay? And also it's very lightweight, so you can use it if you have special application just just need to be installed using LXC so we can just browse and go for example to operating system and let's try to install for example this Alpine here which is a very lightweight Linux distribution so as you can see here on the descri description it's just lightweight it doesn't actually need more than one virtual CPU and the RAM is just 512 and for the HTT we don't need more than 100 megabytes okay so let's try to actually execute the script and see what we get if indeed we get our uh, LXC container and this is the credential to log in so the username and the password is Alpine so let's copy the script and let's go to our once again to our uh, actually uh, shell let's paste the script and see what we get so this will create a new alpine lxc so let's say yes and it's creating this lxc alpine so we'll be using the default setting so i will hit yes and here you see all the things that has been actually all the steps that has been executed and here we have to choose the storage pool so me i will put that on my storage called storage so i will just hit space and i will validate using ok which storage pool you would like to use for the container so the same thing okay here it's updating the LXC template list it's downloading the LXC template and it's creating the LXC template and if you take a look at uh, the pane on the left you can see that the Alpine LXC container has been created 
and it started actually. So now it's installing the dependencies and we are done. So let's log on to this uh, LXC container and even it has added a tag with the, the Proxmox helper script so we can know that it was generated using helper script. Okay, so let's click on it. Let's go to the console and for the login is space or actually let's use root and alpine is the name actually of the password and here we go we are in so you can see how easy it is to create just uh, LXC alpine container using the this this script actually this helper script okay so of course you can also use Ubuntu helper script to create even a virtual machine with any version you want okay there are also what we call Turner keys so actually there are kind of uh, containers LXC containers but they are specific because they are LXC containers that, that they hold specific application okay so you can also use them if you want so let's just install for example one so you can see how we can just create something very easily so let's copy the script let's go to Proxmox and let's exit or actually go to the shell for my node here and I will paste this script okay here we go and let's proceed so now as you can see you can choose the application that you want to install on your LXC container so we have Ansible, we have Bookstack, we have a lot of, we can install even NXC with the file server. We can install GitLab, Media Server, Nextcloud, Observium, Odoo also, which is an ERP if you want. We can install OpenVPN if you want. We have PHP, so a lot of application. We have even WordPress and all of that is installed used an LXC container okay so for example let's choose open VPN so I will select it and I will go OK and I will choose here the storage pool so I will choose mine same thing here so now as you can see the script is downloaded the LXC template and it will install our actually open VPN so as you can see now it's downloading the LXC template it's creating the LXC container and it's starting the LXC container okay and here we go you can see on the left the turnkey open VPN container has been created and the same thing it has added the tag for it so the logins are displayed here for this LXC container which is a root and the password is this thing here so you can see how easy it is to actually just run this scripts in order to automate any task you want okay with the help of these categories you can install any LXC or VM that you want very easily okay so that was just a brief video to show you how to use the Proxmox helper scripts so if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any further content and of course, if you have any suggestion for future video, drop them in the comments below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you. And I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.